country, predictability. The milkman, the paper boy, bleeding and TV. Did I get delivered? What's up, dude? On W now, shout out. Whatever happened to predictability? Milkman, paper boy, evening TV. I guess you miss your old familiar friends. Waiting just around the bend. Yeah, with clouds as me as y'all ever seen. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Luis Ruiz alongside Victoria Escardizio. As most of you know, last week ONW hosted a debate tournament last Friday. Each year, the ONW debate team hosts a debate tournament out of courtesy, and that is why we got released at 1 p.m. last Friday. You may have noticed the Hall of Fame wall in the event entrance. <clears throat> Cam Gibson and Connor have the story. Recently, the event entrance, a new Hall of Fame wall has been installed to honor the greats of those who have walked through the halls of Olathe Northwest. The establishment of the display seemed to come out of nowhere with no explanation behind it. Athletic Director and Assistant Principal Jay Novacek provides insight into the reason behind its creation. The Hall of Fame uh, is something we're creating at Olathe Northwest, uh, which will highlight um, students who have had success not only here, but uh, who have gone on and, and done something um, noteworthy, uh, might be athletics, perhaps not athletics, uh, and just wanted to give another opportunity to recognize some of our alumni. Many are confused with the new sign as it closely resembles the record boards in the PE hallway. Novacek notes the misconceptions of the Hall of Fame wall. The record boards, um, you know, they're, they're more fluid. Um, you know, the record boards are there until somebody better comes along. And uh, there's no guarantee that, you know, if your name's on there now, five years from now, every name could be taken down. Um, you know, we wanted to have an opportunity to make sure we recognize some people permanently. The mystery remains behind who will be inducted first into this glorified group of Ravens. Um, there were two students who initially selected for the Hall of Fame, um, and so those students will be recognized at some point probably this year um, at, at an athletic event, and we'll have a, have a little induction ceremony. Nonetheless, Novacek hopes the Hall of Fame will take off and receive positive feedback. To give some noteworthy alumni um, the chance to be uh, immortalized, as it were, here, and uh, hopefully, you know, give them something and, and something for our students to look for and know that they come from a school that produced some excellent individuals uh, in a lot of different ways. Be sure to check out the Hall of Fame to see if you see any familiar faces. For Connor Bickford, this has been Cammie Gibson. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Cammie and Connor. It'll be exciting to see who ends up on the wall. Now we have our first athlete of the week. Brooke Biasella has a story. Our Athlete of the Week, wrestler Kavion Kalantari, explained to me what the main objective of wrestling is. For many of us, wrestling is just two sweaty guys rolling around on a mat, but it's much more complicated than that. It's to take your opponent's uh, two shoulder blades and touch them to the mat for one or two seconds and you can get a pin. Kavion explains what it is like mentally when wrestling a tough competitor. A lot of times you don't hear them. You're in your own zone see anything except for your opponent. It's a lot of just one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you versus him. Only being a sophomore, Kavion has many goals he hopes to improve come his senior year. If I can keep going on the path that I'm going, that maybe, uh, hopefully, I can be a state champion one day. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Brooke Biasella. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Brooke. Can't wait to see who our next athlete of the week is. As the year winds down, RFC does a lot for NW. Libby and Victoria have a story. Have you ever wanted to promote school spirit while leading your peers? Well, RFC is the class for you. A normal day of RFC consists of making posters, talking about spirit days for the week, and doing leadership seminars. RFC is a great way to form relationships with students you may not have gotten to know otherwise. And you make a lot of friends and you meet really cool people. Like I'm friends with people who I probably wouldn't have like been friends with if I hadn't joined RFC and I'm really thankful for that. Miss West teaches RFC the leadership skills they need to be successful. And I don't know, she's really relatable and she like understands um, like what we're trying to like accomplish as a class as well and she always like pushes us to make sure that we are involving everyone in the school. And RFC created a way to keep everyone at Olathe Northwest involved. If you don't have a Twitter, you can sign up for Remind 101 and all you have to do is text 810810 at our nation to get 
um, updates from RFC about what the spirit wear is going to be, when the games are, where they are, and just like all updates for the school. For ONW Now, this has been Victoria Scardizio and Libby Bandy. Now back to the desk. Thanks, RFC, for all you do. Lastly, we bring you this week's Connor Invasion. Hey guys, what's up? It's Connor. I'm here in. Show them. Why you gotta try to film? Come on. After walking around for a bit and then simply not knowing what to do, I finally pleaded for help. Someone to guide me. You need Mr. Barnes to guide you. Ride with me on this journey to success. Please, I just need someone to help, please. <laughs> I finally convinced Miranda and advanced ceramic students to guide me in making a cup. Miranda showed me each step to making the cup, and then it became my turn to take a crack at the pottery wheel. I have some people spin it all y'all. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, my ceramic skills were not up to par as I not only messed up once, but twice. We can fix this. With help, though, I was able to recover my masterpiece. However, I spent too much time fixing my cup and I had to rush to clean up my crafting tools and station. In the end, though, it was a new experience and a good one for sure. Thank you, Ms. Barnes, for having me today. It was awesome. I think I kind of made a cup. I tried though. So, uh, yeah. So, you had a good instructor over there? Yeah, yeah Miranda was good. Was... All right, man. Thanks for coming in. Don't leave me hanging here. Yeah. Oh. That's what friends are for. I won't. All right. All right. See you guys Thanks, next time. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Luis Ruiz, I'm Victoria Scarduzio. Have a great week.